Now it's your turn. I'm going to present you with several transactions so you can practice. After each transaction, take a few minutes and give it a try, and then come back and we'll see how you did. Now this is going to be kind of like eating vegetables. You just have got to learn how to do it. The first transaction to practice, ABC Company buys $15,000 of inventory on account. Now remember, you need to do a couple of things. You need to record the journal entry, and then you need to post the journal entry to the appropriate T accounts. Take a few minutes, give it a try, then come on back and we'll see how you did. In the meantime, I'll eat one of these just so you don't feel like you're by yourself. So how did you do? Let's take a look and see. So let's record the journal entry. Remember the four things that we've got to know to be able to record the journal entry. What accounts were affected, what type of accounts they are, assets, liabilities, or owner's equity, whether they increase or decrease, and the dollar amount. So here we have inventory increasing. Inventory is an asset. It's increasing, and so it is a left side entry or a debit. So on the journal entry, we have inventory on the left side. The other account that's affected is the accounts payable account. Notice that the company did not pay cash for the inventory, they bought it on an account. So they now have an obligation to pay the supplier at some point in the future the $15,000. So its liabilities increase. When liabilities increase, that's a right side entry or a credit, so the right side to accounts payable for $15,000. Let's post those to the T accounts. Pretty simply, we have $15,000 left-hand side entry to the inventory account, so that is posted to the left side of the inventory T account. The $15,000 entry to the accounts payable account is a right side entry, so we post that to the right side of the accounts payable T account. Okay, nice work. Let's move to the next one. ABC Company pay suppliers $5,000 for inventory that it previously purchased on account. Take a few minutes, give it a try, then come back and we'll see how you did. And yes, okay, I will eat another Brussels sprout so you don't feel alone while you're doing your work. So how did you do with this one? Did you remember to record your journal entry? And did you remember to post that journal entry to the T account? You notice I didn't give you that hint before we started on this one. Well, let's take a look. Accounts payable, which is a liability, decreases here because we've paid off $5,000 of the liability. A decrease in a liability is a left side entry or a debit, so we put that on the left side of the journal entry. We use cash to pay the supplier, so cash goes down, cash is an asset, it's a decrease, and so it's a right side entry or a credit. Let's post those to the T accounts. The left side entry to the accounts payable account gets posted to the left side of that T account. The right side entry to cash gets posted to the right side of the cash T account. Nice work. Let's try another one. ABC Company purchases $50,000 in equipment using cash. Take a few minutes, give it a try, then come back. We'll see how you did. Let's see how you did. Let's start with the journal entry. Here, ABC Company purchases some equipment, so its equipment account increases, which is an asset. That's a left-hand side entry or a debit for $50,000. It pays cash, so its cash account goes down. Since cash is an asset, it's decreasing. That's a right side entry or a credit. Let's post these to the T accounts. The left side entry to the equipment account is posted to the left side of that T account, and the right side entry to the cash account is posted to the right side of that T account. Something tells me you're getting the hang of this. Let's try another one. 
ABC Company issues 1,000 shares of common stock for $10 cash per share. Take a few minutes, give this one a try, then come back and we'll see how you did. This one's a little more difficult. I'll take two of these. Okay, let's see how you did on this one. The journal entry, the easy part, I'm going to do first. We know that the company got cash in exchange for issuing that stock. So its cash account, which is an asset, increases by $10,000, which is the 1,000 shares times the $10 per share. There's another account that has to be affected because, of course, the total of our left side entries have to equal the total of our right side entries. When a company issues stock to its investors or owners, that is recorded in an owner's equity account, and we'll call that capital stock. So capital stock, which is an owner's equity account, increases by $10,000. Since it's an owner's equity account and it's increasing, it's a credit on the right side of the journal entry. Let's post these to the T accounts. The left side entry to cash gets posted on the left side of that T account. The right side entry to capital stock gets posted to the right side of that T account. Let's try another one. ABC Company obtains a $10,000 loan from the bank. Take a few minutes, give this one a try, then come back and we'll see how you did. These are growing on me. Let's start with the journal entry. The company obtains a $10,000 loan, so its cash balance increases. Cash is an asset. The balance increases by $10,000. It's a left side entry to the cash account. By obtaining a loan, the company now has an obligation to repay that loan, so it has a liability. We'll call that liability loan payable, or we could call it loan from the bank or something like that. Importantly, though, it's a liability account, and it increases, so that means it's a right-side entry or a credit in the journal entry. Let's post it to T accounts. Left side to cash. Left side on the cash T account. Right side to loan payable right side to the loan payable T account. This is getting kind of fun, isn't it? Another one. I'm going to run out of Brussels sprouts soon. Don't worry. ABC Company purchases a building for $120,000 with a loan from the bank. Take a few minutes, give this one a try, and come back and we'll see how you did. This is a hard one. Okay, how did you do with that one? Let's take a look at the journal entry. The company purchases a building, so it's acquired a, a new asset. We'll call it building. Sometimes people call it property, plant, and equipment. Uh, we'll call it a building just for simplicity. It's an asset account. That balance increases by $120,000, so that's a left side entry or a debit. The company took out a loan to finance that purchase. So it's incurred an obligation to pay the loan back to the bank. So that will be a liability. Since we have a liability that's increasing, that's a right side entry in the journal entry. Let's post these to their respective T accounts. The left side to the building gets posted to the left side of the building T account. The right side to loans payable gets posted to the right side of the loan payable T account. One more. ABC Company purchased a five-year insurance policy for $10,000 and paid the premium in advance. Take a few minutes, give it a try, then come back and we'll see how you did. How did you do with that one? Let's take a look. The company bought something. Instead of buying a building, which is an asset, it bought an insurance policy, which is an asset. So we're going to increase an asset account. I've called it prepaid insurance here, but we could call it insurance policy or insurance. The important thing is that it's an asset account. I called it prepaid insurance. It increases by $10,000. So that is a left side entry in the journal, left side entry in the journal entry. 
The company paid cash, so its cash balance, which is an asset, decreased by $10,000. That would be a right side entry or a credit. Let's post to the T accounts. The left side to the insurance asset account is posted to the left side of that T account. The right side is to cash is posted to the right side of the cash T account. Very nice work. I'm sure that you're ready to take a break. I've eaten enough Brussels sprouts, so let's stop for now. We'll move forward with some additional practice later. <laughs>